So one of the parts on the, on the North Pole trip that um, I guess uh, you will not be too jealous when I tell you about it is actually swimming in ice conditions. Uh, yesterday I called up to the North Pole to a scientific research station. It was minus 50. And you have to be able to um, swim between the gaps when it's a lot of ice. So what we do is we have this, oh my God, this wetsuit kind of survival suit. And we have to put on the suit and then jump into the water and then, of course, get all the way to the other side of the ice. And that is something you do maybe five, six days. And then you have beautiful weather for a week, then it's maybe five, six times per day. So it's uh, kind, of a, kind of a struggle. My God, I can't believe that I'm gonna swim with this one. Anyways, this is what it looks like. This is the way you travel on the North Pole. So this is a normal day at work. This is me on the North Pole, trying to get myself up on the other side. So you feel the whole suit is just like, you know, tidying up the whole body. It's just squeezing everything. But this actually works fine, you know. It's cold, really cold down here. It's, uh, but it works fine. This is a specially made dry suit, so this is actually working pretty fine. In two days I will be leaving for the North Pole and I will need these kind of suits to be able to travel for my 60 days over the ice to Greenland. In Antarctica I won't be using this because I will only be traveling on ice with my kite. Uh, every day is a question of gear, every day is a question of what exactly do you want to have with you on the North Pole. Every kilogram is very important because you don't want to have too many kilos. We're gonna be, we, we're having this sled, we're gonna be pulling this sled for days and days, maybe eight, 10, 12 hours per day for like 50, 60 days over the ice. And sometimes the ice opens up, that's, that's when you need the dry suit. Up on the North Pole. 